It is the end of an era at the FDNY. Commissioner Dan Nigro retiring today after more than five decades in the department. He is capping off a storied career, including having to put aside the heartbreak of losing one of his closest friends on 9-11. As CBS 2's political reporter Marsha Kramer takes us now with a look back at his career. New York City said goodbye to a true hero when Fire Commissioner Daniel Nigro walked out of FDNY headquarters today, capping a 53-year career in which he was only one of six people to hold every single rank in the department. In many ways, the tragic events of 9-11 defined his career. It was unimaginable, the, uh, the chaotic scene. He was one of the firefighters who managed to survive. I had started circling the building, left the command post to get a view of the damage, especially of the South Tower. I was in a position where I could find safety. But his close friend, Chief of Department Peter Gancy Jr., did not. And Nigro found himself suddenly promoted to Gancy's post, thrust into command of rescue operations of an attack of historic proportions. The loss of so many firefighters haunted him. It was our uh, you know, best day in the way that we rescued so many people, but then again it ended as our worst day. When Mayor de Blasio promoted Nigro to commissioner in 2014, he did something that was a stunning departure from normal personnel announcements. My father loved Dan. He loved him. The mayor asked Fire Lieutenant Chris Gansey to speak, a nod to the bond between Nigro and Chris's father, who was killed by debris from the crumbling towers as the two stood together. I remember thinking afterwards how proud my father would have been of you then. But I know for sure that today he'd be beaming with pride to see you achieve this monumentous achievement. Nigro choked up at Chris's words. It made his father a part of today. Uh, and we all know what that means to me. As he presented Nigro with a proclamation, Mayor Adams said that Dan Nigro leaves behind the legacy of heroism that will be hard to match. He also got to ring the bell at the New York Stock Exchange, in some ways a sad reminder of the bells that toll on 9-11 to mark the times that the planes hit the towers. I'm Marcia Kramer, CBS 2 News. Nigro followed in the footsteps of his dad, Daniel Nigro, who served in the FDNY for 33 years. Maurice, you and I have had the pleasure of meeting Mr. Nigro, and I mean, just what a, an all-around good person, worked really hard for the FDNY. I met him several times raising money um, for rescue operations and training, which was a cause that's dear to his heart, and we just wish him the best. A lifetime time. of service, absolutely. A job well done, and all the best going forward. Good luck, Commissioner. You bet.